We have talked about the public roadmap. We have also talked about the amazing new updates in the documentation in an announcement in our Discord. Links to both of these updates will be down in the description. And that's not it. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Tatum dashboard and what are the new features that we have built for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've been logged in into the new nice and clean Tatum dashboard. And there's three major things that I would like to show you in this video. One is the notifications product in the dashboard, usage and error logs. And we'll go through these one by one. So let's start with notifications. So let's just go to the notifications page. And as you can see on the top, we have these create subscription button which basically allows you to create a subscription with a set of parameters or you could say criterias when met you receive a notification a very quick example could be you could select negative transfers on a specific chain and you can configure your webhook to receive these notifications we'll probably create a dedicated video covering the notifications but coming back to our main topic on the dashboard as you can see in the notifications you have this create subscription button and then a banner that talks about how many subscriptions you have and how many you have used and then also the number of sent notifications that's allowed in your plan if you scroll further down you could also sort this by different api keys and you can also see sent notifications and the active subscriptions that you have in your plan that's the quick overview of the notification section in the new dashboard now let's quickly move to the usage section Talking about the usage page, you might have guessed what this page has to offer. But with a quick rundown, you can find your costs, number of deployments that you have had, how many notifications have been sent, API calls and whatnot. You can also see the overview by the specific date and also a breakdown by the chains in this page. All right, let's move to the most interesting new addition, which is the error log section in the dashboard. So this section basically lists out all the error logs that you might have encountered while using the SDK. So whenever you get an error, it gets logged in here. And note that the number of logs that's being shown in the dashboard will depend on your plan, about which you can find more in the pricing page. So here's a quick view of a log. As you can see, you get the status, you get the message, batch request, and then you can see the request body and the response body of the error and some more information. We are hopeful that the new notification section and the error log section will be quite helpful to you. Also, the refined usage section will help you to know more about your usage. Let us know what you think about these new additions to the dashboard in the comments below. This was Shift, Product Manager at Tatum. See you next time.